In this video, we're going to convert the density of gold from grams per cubic centimeter into kilograms per cubic meter. So we're given that this density is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Now a cubic centimeter can be written as a cc, but it's more useful to write it as a centimeter cubed. And I'll go ahead and work on the mass units first. So I want to cancel those grams that are in the numerator. So I'm going to put 1,000 grams in the denominator. And that's equal to one kilogram, which I'll leave in the numerator, and the grams cancel. Now I have to deal with three factors of centimeters. It's a really common mistake to just write 100 centimeters over one meter. 100 centimeters is equal to a meter, and leave it at that. Well, that would only cancel one factor of centimeters. So in order to cancel all three of them, you have to cube that conversion factor. That gives me cubic centimeters canceling and cubic meters in the denominator. So that 100 cubed in the numerator, that's 10 to the sixth or a million. And then I have a thousand in the denominator. Well, a million divided by a thousand is just a thousand. So I have 19.3 times a thousand or 19,300 kilograms per cubic meter. And this is a really useful fact to remember in a physics course. If you're converting from grams per cc into kilograms per cubic meter, you just multiply by a thousand. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, Check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left, or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.